All right, welcome in. Finally get around to making this video of all of the hidden teddy bear locations in Shadow Man Remastered in the most recent patch, uh, 1.5, the live version, no longer in beta. Uh, we'll start with Louisiana here. You just got to go jump on the barrel, jump on the door, on the roof. And then you're going to walk across the fence, whatever you want to call it there, onto the church. And then this part is a little weird. Um, you have to jump, you probably don't have to jump onto the cross, but you have to land on like the middle-ish of the roof there and it activates the interior. And then from here you need to carefully go around the edge so you don't fall through the pit in the floor. See that mask on the floor there? That's where a giant hole begins. So you have to jump onto this area, get on the table, and then you're just, well, don't do that. But then you can just run up the, uh, the roof here. And then to get up to where the bear is, you have to do, you have to do a standing jump. And then while you're like falling, you want to hold jump again and you get a slightly higher second jump afterwards and boom, easy, get the bear. Only like 17 to go. Poor Nettie. All right, so we'll just do the live side ones first. So we'll, we'll go to uh, the salvage yard now. This one right near the entrance. Uh, you gotta do some some hill rolling here. You just roll up the side of this, uh, this crate. Uh, this rolling was always like kind of whack for me. But you get up there and then you just you just jump across uh jump across to like where that red one is once you're here you can just look across uh and you'll see the bear right there on the that little part of the box sticking out see bear so go get the bear bear number two done uh, number three, we'll go here to uh, New York. You can just you just need to get to um, to the that outside area where those uh, those dogs are. So you just run through whichever way you want, get to the outside, open the door, and then right you can jump on the lock, which then lets you jump on the door, which then lets you jump on the roof if you don't miss it. But you're on the roof and then you just jump over woohoo and now you're you're outside oh uh, you gotta be careful though you can run through this wall right here uh like that and then you know you have to like redo it i could have just cut this out but you know if i had to suffer through it so do you but yeah once once you're over just hop through don't run through the wall uh don't go down don't go down this way because you know so it's not here say hi to the dog and then if you just run all the way down you see the bear get the bear bear number three okay now we're in London. Run away from the dogs. This one, it's not too far off of the warp. Gotta do a little bit of running. Um, another pretty easy bear to get. The timing can be a little weird to like jump through this hole in the wall that you have to jump through, but it's not, it's not so bad. But yeah, from the warp, you just run all the way down here, run through the train.
ignore the dogs. Don't roll. Jump. And then uh, it's right around uh, the corner here. You have to jump on these barrels on the right, and then there's a hole right there in the fence. So if you like just jump right, you'll get through it. And then you just go to your left, run all the way down the hall, and get the next bear. I forget what number we're on already, but here we are. Number four? Is that number four? All right, so we're at the jail now. From the warp, or from the entrance, sorry. Not from the warp, from the entrance. Uh, so you go through the cathedral to get there. And then, you, yeah, you kill a million dudes. But you run, you're, you end up like, like kind of near like the past the halfway point, like progression wise through, uh, you know, this first section of the prison. But, you know, on your right, you have the basketball court, you keep running. You'll get to this area, you got to jump up straight ahead, get on those boxes, just running through the level. If you're re-clearing, it'll definitely take you an extra little bit because there's just tons of guys around. But then the area you want is right here. Uh, don't blow up all those barrels because you need to, well, you can blow those up, but you have to jump up on at least one of these. And then you can grab this, you can grab this light fixture. And now you're up here. And you just got to kind of like do your weird jump slide across the barbed wire here. And then there's uh, there's the bear. Hi, bear. So we'll say it was number five, maybe? No, can't go through the wall here. It's not like, uh, not like the New York one. All right, this summer camp one, this, uh, this is something. Seriously, props to uh, whoever found this one first, because it is a hike, and it's weird. So from, again, not from the warp, but from the cathedral entrance. It's where we're, where we're coming from here. Still got some dogs to deal with. But they're no match. For Disco Mike. One dog. Try, he tried hiding behind a tree, but yeah. Alright, so here's another one. You gotta jump on a door. So you jump on the lock, jump on the door, jump on the roof here. Boom, we did it. And then you're gonna you're gonna go to the left. And this is the only really tricky part right here is you have to like jump just right. Um, not like that, but you have to kind of like we did in Louisiana where you trigger like a different like layer. So that happens. And now we're just running around. Uh, you do have to jump on this light post. Save state is your friend uh, because you'll probably, you know, you might you might do this. Make sure you get a good jump here. And you're just kind of running around. Uh, these trees have invisible walls, which can be annoying to deal with. But you're just making your way around here. And then, of course, because why not, you climb up this uh, telephone pole. I like that we still call them telephone poles, even though no one has a landline anymore. I exaggerate, but you get it. So we're up on here. And now, big difference, um, if you're doing this on the horror, you, you know, this, this will happen no matter what. 
But when you jump down on the horror, <laughs> like seven true forms spawn. Um, there's no advantage to doing this on the horror if you're just trying to collect the secrets. Um, but my playthrough is on the horror, so yeah, we're uh, yes. we got a lot of true forms to get through. So this is gonna take a minute. Um, after I used all my voodoo, I was like too scared to take a breath and switch to uh, my violator. I was just like letting the voodoo recharge. But uh, but yeah, we, we get through this. We get through this eventually. I'm not gonna fast forward though. You're gonna relive it in all its glory. Me with uh, zero health. Oh yeah, look at that switch to the Violator. So now we're just gonna burn these guys down. They were all they were all pretty hurt after all that yes. that voodoo, that voodoo that we do. Nice. Yes. Yes. See that? Don't forget yes. tea bag. Yes. And then the uh, the way you actually progress here there's a rock behind this house you gotta jump up on the rock you jump on the roof and then you're just gonna run around uh, the side here this spot can be a little tricky to jump onto so just be careful stupid tree walls Yeah, just making your way around. Um, careful not to like fall off of the world here. Going around the uh, the tree walls. That spot was a little scary, but we're good. Uh, you run up here. You like go up the kind of the side, like really close to the edge, and then. Because, of course, there's another invisible waterfall. Uh, and at the top at the top here is the bear. You just got to climb all the way up. And yeah, watch out. Surprise tree form. Uh, luckily, we're at the end here. It doesn't matter if we kill him or not. Alright, so another bear down. And that was our last live side one. So now we're at the Marrow Gates. This is like really close to the entrance. Um, just gotta jump on that switch, jump on the rope. And then uh, run around here. Easy. Nice and easy. Next, we'll go to Asylum Gateway uh, to trigger um, the event for this. You actually have to go to the old teddy bear location. Uh, it's just through this wall here. And, you know, Mike will say something. There must be another way in. From here, you can just, like, teleport out, you know, whatever. Go to, go to the entrance. Now, now the fun part begins because you get to run all the way to the edge here so if you're facing the entrance this was to the right all the way to the right so you go all the way over here and you do a straight up jump to let you grab the light post and from here, it spawns a platform. Uh, if you try and do this too early in the game, uh, the platforms have like the fire properties on them. So you won't be able to grab the edges. But if you land on them, you, you're fine. So you can actually do this really early. But yeah, you're gonna be, I, safe state is your friend on this one, for sure. 
because uh, you have to get on a bunch of different platforms and the timing on them can be kind of tight. There we go, we jump on another one. Recommend saving. It'll zoom you away. Fortunately with save states, you know, once you once you land somewhere, you should probably just save. Um, Cause then you can see how long platforms sit there and what direction they fly off on, etc. Like here, it's like you gotta jump and grab that ledge and then you gotta quickly run down here so you can jump on this platform before it flies away. Um, that time, the timing on that one's decently tight. So definitely will take a sec. And then uh, last one right here, boom. You're on this roof and that's the end of the road. So if you look off uh, to your right, right here, you can see that room with the rafters and that far right in the middle is a bear. So you just jump to it and boom, bear number eight. Next bear, bear number nine in the experimentation rooms. Uh, if you don't have this port yet, you'll have to go the long way, but pour it over, take care of the people in cages. And then this is a nice, easy, quick one. Hop up on the cage, and then you can jump to this ledge and then jump through, and there's a, uh, there's a hole in the fence right there. Boom, easy. Bear number nine is in the corner. Bear number 10 will go to the Cathedral of Pain. If you uh, go to the Jack the Ripper side, Obviously, it's only on one of them, so you gotta go on Jack's side. Uh, just run up the ramp to the schism here. Hop up on the right railing. And then you can actually jump onto this first like rope, wire, whatever it is. And from there, you can actually like slowly make your way up and then jump on this thing. And then right behind there is the bear. Definitely save state. Um, some of those jumps are kind of tough. All right, uh, bear 10. I think we're on 10 now. Uh, Temple of Fire, run back through it. Or, or if you want to do it a different way, come in via the uh, wasteland overworld. Um, it'll definitely be quicker to get to the bear from there. But if you just want to port in, that's fine too. You just got to run back, swim, and then make your way all the way to the entrance. Basically, when you first, like, you know, that the, the bridge you run across and it does a little mini cutscene. So, yeah, just make your way back there. And it's, this was a, a pretty easy one. You just got to get uh, the right angle on it, but not too tough. So on this right side here, you're going to end up turning around and uh, rolling up the ledge here. And it'll get you like just over the corner here. And then you can actually uh, just run on the bridge. <laughs> so it, uh, yeah, you if you do it wrong, You'll get the cutscene and you'll have to run back. But easy, all the way at the end here is the bear. Bear number 10. And you can't keep running, there's nothing else there. All right, bear number 11. Let's go to the cageways. Um, if you are porting into the cageways, you gotta take the train back to uh, the entrance. Uh, keep in mind, you know, I said bear number 11, but there is no order you have to do this in. This is just um, kind of the order that you would probably be playing through these levels. Of course, I'm an idiot and I forgot about um, the Wasteland one. So I ended up doing that one last, but jump up on that light 
easily hop up on the train and then jump up on the top here, grab the ledge. Uh, that steam will kill you, so be careful. But yeah, really easy one to get for bear number 11, the cage ways. Number 12, we'll go to uh, the playrooms as everyone's favorite labyrinthine level. Uh, for this one, it's actually pretty deep in the level, so you're going to be doing a lot of running. Um, you got to uh, swim through the uh, through that little tunnel. You know, you have to blast the rock, swim through the tunnel. And then there's a lot of running. Um, we'll, we'll show you the whole thing. But you end up going all the way to uh, that room that has a pool table in it. Um, it's in that same hallway with the uh, that super weird room that has like the little kid wallpaper and like the the blocks on the ground. Um, definitely a definitely a weird one. Probably the weirdest room in this entire game, which uh, you know it's saying something. But yeah, you swim through, make your way all the way over there. It is, uh, there's, there's probably a shorter way. Um, there's definitely a shorter way. What am I, what am I talking about? I probably should have done that shorter way, but this is the way I knew as far as getting there. You know, from here you got, uh, you got that room with the water that you where you lowered the water and you go hop up in the pipe here and just run your way over to that hallway with the weird rooms if anyone uh, if anyone wants to mention in the comments uh, like the back way to get in here so you don't have to do all this all this hoofing it that'd be great but yeah, you got here the uh, room with the pool table, take care of the enemies in here. Um, keep in mind, this actually will not work if you have not killed the true form in this level yet. So make sure you do that before you attempt this. But you just stand on the pool table for like 10 seconds. Uh, and eventually, it'll just port you. Like magic. It does the little like mini cutscene like a baton teleport and there you are and there's the bear nice all right here we are in the second fire temple so from here we went from the entrance here we'll have to uh take care of some of these sisters so we can actually climb the waterfall but uh the other the other way you can do this um you definitely you should have the baton at this point in your run uh you can actually baton teleport um from that spot at the entrance of this level you know when you first port in uh on one of the walls there's like a push block and you uh you know you just push the block and then behind that there's a little hallway and a uh, a baton plinth, and you can just teleport to uh, the room where this all happens. But if you want to do it the other way, you climb up that first waterfall, run through, go through this door, and boom, you're in this room with the swinging hammer. Uh, that hammer is actually how we're going to get this next teddy bear. Take care of the sisters so they're just not annoying you. And make your way up the ledge. Once you're up here, uh, you kind of line yourself up with the hammer. Because you're going to be jumping off of um, the hammer. You actually have to get up to there. So definitely save. And then uh, kind of time it so it like you're jumping as it's swinging back up, and then you can like jump off of it. 
It does hurt you though, so make sure you have some health. But uh, if you get that second jump, you should grab on here and then you can just hop up. I forget which side it's on. Yeah, boom. Easy. I think we're on, I think we're on like number 15 now, but head to the uh, third fire temple. And this is, uh, this is a pretty easy one, uh, but it can be annoying um, because all these, well, you'll see. But scoot your way down the ledge and then you can either try and walk or actually just jump. Um, you could jump right there, which I, I learned later but you can actually travel on this ledge here. Um, again, the walking is kind of tough, but if you jump, it's pretty easy. And then uh, you just hop up. Nice and easy. Um, but as you see, these, these sisters have spawned, so you're gonna have to take care of them. Uh, you know, whatever way you want. Um, having, you know, like the violator and the shield are uh, pretty nice for this. From here you're going to drop down to this little tiny platform, you're going to climb another invisible waterfall because why not? And once you climb up here, you're almost done, uh, just a couple jumps you have to make. You're trying to get to the, uh, the center of that archway over there on the right. So this jump's a little weird, so definitely save. Uh, it's easy to miss. Um, but yeah, once you're up here, make your way to the center, and there is uh, your bear, bear number, we're gonna say 15. Woohoo. A bear number 16. Head over the lava ducts. Maybe my least favorite level. I'm not sure. I always feel like I get lost in this level. But anyway, make your way to lava ducts. Hop in. Take a swim. Take your first, your first right. And then at the fork here, bear left. We'll take you to the second room. And once you're in here, you're gonna go all the way. Not that first one. But here. And you know, just hop up, get your engineering key. Be happy it's the remaster, you don't have to go into your inventory every time you want to equip the freaking thing. And we're gonna go through a couple rooms with a bunch of enemies, so you can try and skip them if you want. Maybe you've already cleared. But, yeah, there's there's a lot going on. Gonna hop down. Avoid all the chainsaw guys. Don't die, though. And you're in this room. Everyone's favorite room. Right? All this platforming and the most obnoxious Caddo in the game to try and get. But yeah, get all the way up, run across, hop up on the whatever this is, spinny blade thing. And once we get across, we're going to go over to the left where the big pipe is. And we're gonna jump onto it because there is a ledge right here. And you scoot all the way over. And once you have scooted as far as you can scoot, just hop up. For bear number, what, 16? All right, number 17. This is um, after, this is the engine block for Jack the Ripper. 
Jack the Ripper. So just hop off and take you know take it right at the beginning. Just run through everything. This one's pretty close to the uh, the beginning, so nice and easy. You don't have to jump up there. We're going right here. And there's a spot where you can go through the grate. Just gotta kind of get in there and give it a roll, and now you're in. Jump through, hop in this, whatever this is, and there's the bear. All right, now for a lot of people, this is the final bear, and I thought it was my final one until I uh, got it, and I realized I forgot the wasteland one. But yeah, just uh, make your way through the level until you get to the area where um, there's that rope you have to climb up. But yeah, hop up, climb the rope all the way to the top. This uh, this teddy bear is there's two parts to it. Um, to access it, you climb up a hidden another hidden waterfall. But the first part of this is to activate that waterfall. Um, to activate it, you gotta run all the way over to this area we're going to but uh, once you get where we're going you have to drain all of your voodoo uh, which does work even if you have the lights all so don't worry okay, you're gonna go over here And you have to drain all of your voodoo. Now, people thought you had to like use the baton to do it. But you don't have to. Um, you could bust out the flambo and just like really drain your voodoo, like two-hand it and that kind of stuff. But once your voodoo is drained, you have to stab this wall and you'll see it working because it starts bleeding. And after you've hit it enough times, it'll scream. And once it does that, uh, you're good. You activated the waterfall. Now you need to make your way back um, to the room that's like right where you first, um, right where you first enter the zone, like if you were to, uh, like teddy bear warp in, and you're going to head to the spot where you have those, uh, big spinning, you know, blade things and you got to climb up and yeah, you're just going to, you know, run around and, uh, make your way. Make your way onto this the first the first spinning blade thing. And once you're on there, um, you're really just gonna run at the center uh, because somewhere on this center pole here is that hidden waterfall we were talking about. Um, eventually, you'll you know you'll find it if you just keep running at the wall as you go around in circles, and then you'll you'll start climbing. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's a long way up, but it's you don't have to you don't actually climb as far as uh, it looks. But yeah, eventually you will stop climbing. You'll duck into a little room, and uh, the bear will be there. For some of you, it'll be your final one, if you actually, like, did the zones in order or whatever. But if you're me, it's not your final one. <laughs>
Uh, you'll know it's your final one. You know you've gotten them all because instead of the bear icon showing up like this, it'll be Luke's face and he'll scream at you really loud. Like right, jerk. All right, so the final teddy bear for me was here in the wasteland. Um, you just, you know, port to prophecy chamber, run in, cross the bridge, and then you're going to climb up this waterfall on the right. Um, if you're, you know, a super cool guy, you can make that jump across there without having to climb it, but I'm not a super cool speedrunner guy. So make your way over, take care of the enemies. And um, I don't know if it works this way. The uh, original way to get up here was to jump. You like did a side jump into the edge here and then you were able to jump off of that and jump up onto the hut. Um, I don't know if they got rid of it or if I'm just bad. Um, either way, I was not able to do that. So I ran around here to the back I uh, got rid of that pot, ran around to the back of the hut, and uh, did the old roll trick to get up this slope. It definitely took me a bit to get it right, but we'll, uh, we'll pretend like I got that, you know, first try. And then once you're up there, uh, definitely save. You do not jump onto the hut. You actually jump across here, boom, to this area. Make sure you save again. Don't want to mess up. But yeah, then you just make your way up here. And the bear is... Uh, oh, let's, let's get rid of this guy. Can't, we're leaving no witnesses. Yeah, we're almost there. You don't want to fall, so make sure you save. Always save. Always save. Man. When in doubt, roll. Hey. So yeah, run across and boom, there it is. And it, again, if it's your final one, Luke will scream at you. I'm real scared, Mikey. Yeesh. So there you go, you got the last one. And now in your inventory is the bloody teddy bear. It is a weapon, uh, quite powerful. It acts kind of like a grenade. Um, you just throw it and it blows up um, when it hits an enemy or if it like bounces on the floor or something like that. It's kind of weird. It's kind of hard to really keep track of. But yeah, it's it's quite, quite powerful. So uh, for fun, Luke. we're going to go beat Legion using the teddy bear. This is on the horror. I don't know how much more health he has. But uh, he's strong. So we're... We're gonna, we're gonna teddy him out. Yeah, see, I, I feel like we only connected a few times with it, but it, it knocked him out in phase one. So we'll see. We'll see how it works in phase two. You have to get pretty close for it to like actually hit. But we'll uh, we'll shield it up and just spam teddy bears. Uh, it's gonna be easier to do down here. So we'll go down here. It looks like the teddy bears don't break barrels. Get us some health. And back to the bear and shield. Yeah, as you see, it doesn't really work from a distance. So you do have to get close. We'll show him. We will kindly present him with Luki's teddy bear. Poor Luki. Uh, I'll take this time to say um, I freaking love this game. Um, the devs at Night Dive and everyone did such a great job bringing uh, one of my favorite games on the N64 to, uh, you know modern consoles and just adding so much to it I mean not just did they add a new game mode like the horror 
you know, where enemies hit harder and they're faster and all that. But all the enemies got an extra attack, which is hilarious. Um, all the temples got more traps. Uh, and, and then aside from the horror, I mean, there's so much new content in the game. And we got like four new levels. Um, there's all these new models and textures. Uh, there's new enemies. And all the quality of life upgrades. I mean, just, you know, controlling with, with two sticks is pretty great. I'm, a, I'm an N64 purist. I like my N64 controller, but I cannot deny that it felt great playing this with two joysticks. Uh, the hot swap weapon wheel is a life changer. I cannot believe we were opening up an inventory screen every time we wanted to swap weapons or use the engineer's key. Holy crap. And then the new weapon. Oh, man. That thing is insane. I love it. But yeah, this game's amazing. Um, if you haven't played it, definitely play it. And if you have played it, this is uh, almost everything in the game unlocked. Um, there is one more remaining secret that is currently being worked on right now. People in the community are trying to find it. But for now, we'll just take out Legion with this bouncing bloody teddy bear. This was the one flaw in your plan, Legion. The Dark Souls have given me the power to defeat you. I've read my prophecy. And Legion shall take the Dark Souls unto him. Well, here they are. I think it's time to make a fast exit. My god, the lad's got a bloody done it. Looks like you owe me that drink, Michael. I am the Lord of Deadside. Walker between the worlds. Immortal voodoo warrior. As a god, I stamp upon the writhing face of the Deadside Serpent. Weapon in my hand. My hand, the arcing death blow. The horror. I embrace it. 